Okay, so triplets, eighth note triplets, uh, incorporating them in your fills. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Or in your, in your fill, you have 16th notes, one E and a two E and a three triplet, four triplet. Or you can go one E and a two E and a three triplet, four N with two eighth notes at the end. So let's uh, experiment with a couple of those and see how it goes. Notice it gives you the feeling that you're almost slowing the beat down, but I'm still one E and a two E and a three triplet, four and, or one E and a two E and a three triplet, four triplet. Uh, so it's just a matter of uh, breaking up the fill so it's not just a straightforward 16th notes or a straightforward eighth notes. It kind of gives you a cool feel for it. So let me experiment a little bit and I'll throw some in for you. Eighth note triplets uh, between your bass drum and your hands. So basically, you're going to use your bass drum and play um, the third note of the triplet. The one triplet, the let, would be your bass drum. So you would do this. Here, listen closely. This is basically uh, ways to take triplets and incorporate them all over the drum kit uh, between the hands and the foot. So you're one trip bass drum and on the lit. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And the key to this is making sure it's perfectly smooth. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. You don't want to be speeding it up. You don't want to be slowing it down. So let's, uh, let's work away around, just like the 16th notes, around the kit with triplets with the bass drum. Now, uh, what we can do too is uh, split that up a little bit, and instead of playing it just around and around and around, go between the toms and the snare, go all around the kit. So don't just keep going in circles. Here we go. Next, let's uh, split our hands up. Uh, a lot of times it's hard for you know, drummers to split their hands and play in different places, but try doing the triplet, same pattern, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, but take your hands at, at, at times and split them up around the tom. So maybe your left hand hangs around the snare a lot more. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, which is, this is where it gets even a little more wackier, is take our actual hi-hat and play that on each beat. One, two, three, four. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Okay, and it can get a little bit hard because now you're taking, you're playing uh, uh, all four of your limbs are doing something a little bit wackier. So get your hi-hat going on all four and, uh, and it sounds really cool. Here we go. Now again, control before speed. Make sure you have that so smooth at a slow tempo, one triplet, two triplet, three, I don't care how slow you have to play it to make sure it's even. You don't want to be like, like something like this. Really make sure it's even. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And getting the hi-hat involved is going to take some time. Uh, so now let's try to do some crossovers, okay? So while you're playing uh, the triplets, 
you know, experiment, and this is some more advanced stuff, so experiment crossing over uh, to uh, different drums, you know, cross over, and, and try little patterns. There's no set pattern. This is just whatever you want to do. It's all about improving it, but once you get a triplet down and you feel really good about it, try, try doing that. So here we go. All right, now we're gonna do a cool little thing called follow the leader. Uh, it's basically just a pattern where you're going, uh, same triplet we're playing, but you're gonna start with your right hand uh, on your snare drum, left hand on your upper tom, okay? And you're gonna go one triplet, and you're gonna move your hands over, zoop, and then you're gonna go one triplet, and then your, your right hand's on your floor tom, your left hand's on your snare, you're always following your right hand first. So you're starting here, right, left, bass drum, right, left, bass drum, and then you're gonna switch up, zoop, Right hand going up to the top, Tom. Left hand on the floor, Tom. Zip, zip. So it's one triplet, two, I'm sorry, one trip bass drum is lit. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, okay? And just keep going around and around. So I'll start that really slow for you. Again, it's kind of just a cool pattern to uh, get used to doing. And you can mix that up with other patterns. And again, try to get your hi-hat going with it. This is a big challenge, and it's going to take some time, but it's pretty awesome when you get it. So uh, try it with your hi-hat, too. Here we go. So there's triplets on the kit with double bass or regular bass, single bass uh, triplets around the kit. Uh, have some fun with it. Again, improv and, and try to play it in, in, in a fill. So while you're playing a beat, you're playing a straightforward beat and then jump into a triplet fill and it's pretty cool. Sounds like this. Well, not like that. So anyway, incorporating it with uh, cool fills uh, in, in between beats is pretty neat. So there you have it. Triplets on the kit with, uh, you know, John Bonham style triplets. So have fun with it and don't get frustrated because it's going to take time to slowly ease up to that tempo. Believe me, years and years. So uh, again, really just take your time with it and you'll get there. So triplets on the kit go extremely slow and uh, it, it's really fun.